hey guys welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to actually cover how you can optimize your instagram profile for outreach so you know just reaching out on instagram and just sending out a dm isn't enough you need to actually optimize your profile for the prospect to actually reach back out to you because it's very natural for a prospect to go and see who dm them especially if you're dming them relating to a loom request relating to uh, something of your offerings say facebook ads tiktok ads instagram ads anything of that sort the the first intention of a person is to actually go and look at your profile and if your profile just has your vacation photos and doesn't say what you do or who you are doesn't have a professional profile picture doesn't have highlights reels etc it's they're not going to reply to you because they see so many dms and they will reply to somebody who has a properly optimized profile even though you may feel that oh they'll they'll think that we're selling them something but the truth is you are if somebody doesn't want to buy they won't anyway reply and even if they reply they'll just waste your time by talking to you and then saying oh sorry we're not interested it's always better to have an optimized profile. So just to go over this optimization and how I personally out optimize our client accounts for outreach when we're doing the Instagram done for you. So the four things that you need to pay attention to is number one, your bio. Your bio is actually the first thing that everybody would read and it needs to be optimized to say what you do exactly. If you help agency owners, if you help uh, e-commerce marketers, if you help set up Google ads, if you have set up email marketing ads, etc. It should say what exactly you do and what you are an expert at. Number two, we have your profile picture. Now, don't have your profile picture as a cartoon or a tree or anything of that sort. You need to be optimizing your profile picture. It should be a professional picture. As you can see on the screen right over here, there should no, not be any kind of you know, cartoon or a character like I, like, you know, I've seen people have the Simpsons character on there or have some Disney character on there that just doesn't work out. So you need to have a professional profile picture. Number three, to have at least three to four posts. Now don't have an empty profile. Empty profiles is okay. Have one or two posts, but minimum, I would say have three to four posts with a detailed caption with a good picture. It can be a detailed caption about something you learned as a habit something alongside of your business, something learned in your business, some new hire you made, etc. It can be made up stories as well, but something to fit with the professional profile that we are building. It shouldn't be a vacation photo with you jumping in the pool and saying, oh, I had fun in Miami or whatever, because you need to or should make sure that this is a business profile and it's not a profile that, you know, you can just post profile picture, post, sorry, vacation pictures on or something with your family. So optimize it around your business and to be about your business. And lastly, we have highlights. So highlights can be anything with your agency life, your case studies, your results, etc. And just build them out. This can still contain your lifestyle pictures just to show the client that you're more than just a business person. You have a life of your own. This this has really helped a lot of my clients as well. So have some vacation photos, etc. in your highlight reel about you know the lifestyle that you live, have some client results, have some client testimonials. Uh, you can even have some team wins that you guys achieve, maybe some milestone that you guys hit, just to make sure that everything revolves around this. And if you do these four things, I guarantee you that you will see a better result in your uh, DM reply rate because people will see that you are a legitimate business, you're a legitimate owner of the business. Uh, don't use an agency account to actually outreach to people. Use your personal business account. Even if you don't want to add people in your professional, if you don't want to, you know, do this in your personal account, just build a professional account, just an open account and make a private account private. That is how I have it set up as well. So yeah, these are the four tips that I would tell you guys to optimize on. And if you guys like this video, do hit the like button and subscribe for more such content. And yeah, in case you're looking for any help, I'm always available on Facebook DMs and Instagram DMs. Uh, to join my mentorship, you can message me on Facebook. To join a free Facebook group, group click the link down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.